I guess the only comment I have, uh, Mark, is uh, if members of the audience here are making derogatory remarks against one or more members of the County Board of Supervisors at their open meetings here, do we have to tolerate it and can we ask them to leave? Well, number one, this is your meeting. It's not a public hearing, you know. For instance, if you're going to pass an ordinance, you have public hearings. If you're going to have bonds, you have, and they're open for public comment. If you're going to sell real estate, that's open for public comment. Here, this is just your meeting. So number one, you do not have to allow comments from the public. Number two, <coughs> if someone's disturbing the meeting, yes, you have a right to have them removed. Um, but there's also the freedom of speech issue that, you know, they're always conflicting with each other. Are you disrupting or are you exercising your right to freedom of speech? And there's a fine line between the two of them. I would hope that things don't <laughs> degenerate, is that the right word, so much here? Like, because I know they used to have problems with that over in, was it Mason City or Saragordo County? It was one of the board meetings over there where they were always, they were having the sheriff there and having the sheriff remove somebody and, you know, so the short answer is you don't have to allow comments to fall. If someone's being disruptive in any matter, yes, you can have a move. Okay, thank you. Yep.